with Winston, and it'll be interesting to see how these people, how these teams go about this control point map. As you said, all hybrid and uh, escort maps last week. Now we're starting out on control, king of the hill. And teams are about to assemble here. Looks like we'll see a Doomfist at a Sleepy Panda to start out. Uh, looks like dives being run by Revenant. And, uh, okay, you see Winston on the opposite side for Renegade as well. And, uh, oh, okay, Sleepy Panda switched off to May. It'll be interesting to see how May is utilized on this map in particular. <laughs> a lot of Sleepy Panda just can't make up his mind. Oh, he just keeps switching. What? Now running the Diva, they're going with the, with the dive, with the Mercy, partial dive. And all right, we're, here we are, underway, control point unlocks in 23, 22, 20 seconds now, excuse me. And action going right on the point as Winston dives in right there on the side of Redding putting that bubble down and action fast and furious right here trying to see who can get control of this first diva horizon goes down as the tracer mercy duo gets the pick right there so up six to five in this fight sleep came to add a mech horizon gets rezzed gamer goes down so does burr picks coming left and right over here both teams are three on the point now two on the point it looks like Revenant has control here? No, I'm sorry. That looks like Renegade has control. Back and forth. No one has capped yet. As, look at that. Ults are being formed already. Tracer on the side of Revenant has her pulse bomb already. And speaking of that, Revenant caps control first after a long battle. Two ults on the side of Revenant already. And let's see if Renegades can reset here, group up, and force the push. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, Arch oh, wow, Fours. Nice pick. Yeah. <laughs> Picking the Tracer, the dive mode back onto the point. And here comes the Contest Tracer on the backside. Drops the Pulse Bomb. Gets to the Horizon on the Genji. But he gets eaten by the Winston. Rich Buffalo comes out. And Burr with a nice res right there. Keeping his team at full strength. It looks like Renegades will fall back and regroup here. Yeah. 40% already for Revenant here on the first point. And it looks like high ground. They're going to change their attack route and go with the high ground. Even poking in on the point uses those rockets. Just getting chip damage right now. Poking and prodding. Out comes the Diva Bomb. Looks like it won't get anybody. Pulse Bomb comes out. Takes out Big Daddy. And now the picks are going down for Revenant. They are keeping control here. Yeah, I want to give a lot of points to... In a world of trouble. Yeah, I was going to say, I want to give a lot of points to Void Gamers. So that bomb didn't didn't actually secure any kills, but it did force Arch Force out of position. It pushed him around uh, this little, I don't know, what is this, gazebo? This little hut right here? Towards the point to avoid the bomb and right into the open arms of Rich Buffalo on that Winston. So they entered into that fight without their Winston right off the rips. Both teams charging ults, though. I mean, they're going to come back onto this. Four, four ults on each side. There it does come yep, the four on four. Out comes the diva bomb onto the point. Ooh, sleepy panda with a big pick. Right there. Oh, big primal rage. And now anybody's left for renegade needs to need uh, to touch the point. Yeah. Out comes the Valkyrie. And Dragon Blade comes out as well just to keep him away. Yep. Ooh, I thought Artemis might have got there. He did not. And Revenant with a strong opening here on the ball. They take the one nothing lead. And uh, they they were getting picks fast and furious. They were more aggressive once they got control of the point. And it looks like we will go to, I believe this is Sanctum. I was getting the Paul's Maps names confused. <laughs> yeah, this is Sanctum. Um, so I, a little interesting. So Arch Fours and Evan Luck never got a chance to use either of their, uh, their ults. You didn't see the Trance or the Valk come out on either side. So uh, maybe a little hesitant, maybe um, just... The Renegade, or excuse me, Revenant just did a great job, kind of pushing them out of position, not letting them set up to use the Valk or use the Trance appropriately. Um, look to see if how they rectify that. Um, we're gonna follow Artemis here through the back, just being a pain, uh, trying to hunt down the Zenyatta for Revenant. Last map, they don't have a Zenyatta this time around. They do swap to the Mercy Lucio. 
uh, double heel. And she just gets completely barrel stuffed by Big Daddy on the Reaper. Yeah, Renegade with two big picks to start it off. And Revenant already on the point, but they're down two right here. Big Daddy gets picked off by Horizon, and there's a nice hook. Evan Luck with a risky Spirit res on the right Reaper. <laughs> Both Mercies so far have pulled off some dirty reses. But a good job right here by Renegade to get the first cap. And now they can try to build and get themselves back into this match. They the road hog Whoa, that hook. Oh, Jesus. Big hook on Orissa. <laughs> Not able to capitalize on it. <laughs> Fortify came out. And now action on the point. Here we go. And, wow, rip tire already. That's going to be big. big. Two picks right there. Renegade looking to continue. Wow, oh, man, Rich Buffalo, Buffalo <laughs> with the rebuttal. That's a beast Arissa play right there, and Revenant will take control. Fantastic play right there out of Rich Buffalo. Arissa can be nasty on that part on this particular point. I thought and that was gonna I thought that was gonna be even going in there, man. The Riptar dropping both DPS right off right out of the gate. But Rich Buffalo said not today. Now you see the Reaper coming out here close to Hulk. Reaper in the... Oh, nice pulse pop by Artemis. Ends up getting two picks out of it. And Revenant right now just doing a good job of winning team fights. They are approaching 30%. Looks like they will take the lead by the next time Renegade can group up and look to make a push. Yeah, and you see Ermager Burr well does, does charge the Valkyrie right away. Oh. And oh, we had a disconnect. Diva Horizon drop connection. We will pause. Hopefully, that won't be a long-term issue. Yeah. So for while well, while I double check and double check with the captain, see if we can't get him back. Um, why don't you give us a quick update, Matt? What's the uh, what's the rule when somebody disconnects? I uh, believe that we have up to a three-minute limit here, and uh, they'd have to continue five v six and. If you played Overwatch or maybe you just used to competitive sports in general, uh, when you're playing a man down, always makes everything more difficult. So we allow the three-minute pause, uh, three-minute of time bank. Say if he drops again and, you know, he takes a minute here, he'd have two minutes left. Um, but hopefully he gets back in here soon, even out this fight. And look, already back in. But I'll tell you what, Renegade has three ults. They're close to Transcendence. They're also close to that supercharger out of Arissa at 74%. They need to use this time to be communicating, group up, find out a way to coordinate an attack, and use a couple of these ults. Uh, these teams are building ults rather quickly. So Renegade, don't be afraid to use them, get a couple picks, and try to swing momentum back. Because they hey, were off to a good start, but once... Uh, Rich Buffalo had that three-man grab off the re uh, off the map. Uh, Revenant has completely taken control, and we're uh, coming back as the countdown goes off. And a little just oh, Artemis goes down quick. Sleepy Panda with a nice pick. Another hook right there on the Sleepy Panda. He returns it. There you go. Two picks. Now make your push. They do the right they thing here. On the point now. Yeah, you see Revenant understanding that they're, they they do not have the man advantage. Um, rather than burn ults to try and stall this point out, they just back up. They give a little bit of ground. Give them the entire point. Sleepy hey. Panda with those risky hooks, man. <laughs> He's trying to poke out there, land that hook. Playing aggressive bog. <laughs> and here comes the Supercharger. Let's see if Revenant can do anything. Out comes the Death Blossom. It gets two big ones. It's a high-priority pick. pick big daddy. Ermager Bird reses the Lucio in the back. Mm -hmm. And swapping picks back and forth. Revenant does win that team fight, taking out three right there. And they do recapture the point. 67-63. Renegade doing a much better job in this particular map and winning team fights and getting control. But now you're seeing Revenant push up a little bit and trying to keep them at bay. And here comes Rittire. See if it dives right in. No picks right there. <laughs> you see you see Revenant kind of scatter to the winds as that Riptire comes in, just trying to get out of the way. <laughs> and 
Renegade needs to decide what they're going to do and make their move. Yep. Outcomes transcendence. They need to get to the point. Sound barrier goes out as well. This could be the last fight. Renegade does not win it. Horizon comes out, gets two from the Dragon Blade, one from the Pulse Bomb. A poop off the mat with the Graviton, and it looks like Revenant will take Nepal. 2 nothing. And Revenant mighty impressive with the ult combinations and the ult usage and really securing picks with them and taking advantage of the number game. Yeah, I wonder... Mm, yeah, I, I don't really... It, it seemed a little bit like um, when the... Uh, like like a little bit of mismanagement of the, of the ult usage. I don't know. I didn't see the Death Blossom come out, but the Mercy wasn't caught in it. And that's kind of... The Mercy's got to be one of the big... Uh, you know, one of the primary targets when you're when you're popping that off. I I don't know what more they could do other than maybe being a little more aggressive coming onto this point. I don't know what your thoughts are, Matt. Um, I, I agree with you. You need to be more aggressive, and um, you know, we we see it in every game. You got to pick these supports. If that Death Blossom comes out and gets the mercy, uh, Lucio does not get res. There's no speed advantage that Revenant had, and maybe Renegade, you know, wins that point and retakes control when you let the supports, especially Mercy, Mercy's been nerfed to death, but that res is still a valuable asset and a fight turner when she has the opportunity to, to get an uncontested res right there, get the second support back up. Lucio's a very strong support here with his speed ability, his ultimate, and his area healing when you get that speed back up that can swing a fight it gets everyone grouped together keeps your tanks moving faster that was a big miss that they let that mercy go changed the tide of the battle then revenant came out with all the ults renegades need to just get those focused focus targets down if you see that mercy flying in for a res stand on the body or swing or you know just shoot at her try to throw damage in her face and knock her out get her off get her off balance prevent that res a lot of things can change here. But now, you know, you're going on Eichenwald, a little uh, hybrid map action. Maybe that kind of sets, resets them and allows them to go with a different kind of lineup. And, you know, now it's all, can you cap that point and how far can you escort that payload? Don't have to worry about battling necessarily on the point over and over again, trying to uh, take control as you do on the Nepal. Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's kind of the interesting thing on the, uh, the assault maps, right? Eichenwald being a hybrid the first point's got the assault map so the attack really gets to dictate uh how they engage when they engage they get to kind of pick and choose how they go in um in the overwatch xbox community we do swap it around so the losing team of the first map does attack first on the second map so the renegades are going to have an opportunity to kind of put that to good use coming in here so we'll see um we're going to take a, just a quick break while we double check with the captains make sure there's no swaps on either side and then uh, we'll be right back. Graviton, and it looks like Revenant will take Nepal. Two nothing, and Revenant mighty impressive with the ult combinations and the ult usage, and really securing picks with them and taking advantage of the number game. Yeah, I wonder. Mm, yeah, I, I don't really. It, it seemed a little bit like. Um, when the uh, like like a little bit of mismanagement of the of the ult usage, I don't know. I didn't see the death blossom come out, but the mercy wasn't caught in it, and that's kind of the mercy's got to be one of the big, uh, you know, one of the primary targets when you're when you're popping that off. I I don't know what more they could do other than maybe being a little more aggressive coming onto this point. I don't know what your thoughts are, Matt. Um, I, I agree with you. You need to be more aggressive and. Um, you know, we, we see it in every game. you got to pick these supports. If that Death Blossom comes out and gets the Mercy, uh, Lucio does not get res. There's no speed advantage that Revenant had. And maybe Renegade, you know, wins that point and retakes control. When you let the supports, especially Mercy, Mercy's been nerfed to death. But that res is still a valuable asset and a fight turner. When she has the opportunity to, to get an uncontested res right there, get the second support back up. Lucio's a very strong support here with his speed ability, his ultimate, 
and his area healing. When you get that speed back up, that can swing a fight. It gets everyone grouped together, keeps your tanks moving faster. That was a big miss that they let that Mercy go. Changed the tide of the battle. Then Revenant came out with all the ults. Renegades need to just get those focused, focused targets down. If you see that Mercy flying in for a res, stand on the body. Or swing or you know to shoot at her try to throw damage in her face and knock her out get her off get her off balance prevent that res a lot of things can change here but now you know you're going on Eichenwald little uh, hybrid map action maybe that kind of sets resets them and allows them to go with a different kind of lineup and you know now it's all can you cap that point and how far can you escort that payload don't have to worry about battling necessarily on the point over and over again trying to uh, take control as you do on the pole. Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's kind of the interesting thing on the um, the assault maps, right? Eichenwald being a hybrid, the first point's got the assault map, so the attack really gets to dictate uh, how they engage, when they engage. They get to kind of pick and choose how they go in. Um, in the Overwatch Xbox community, we do swap it around, so the losing team of the first map does attack first on the second map, so the Renegades are going to have an opportunity to kind of put that to good use coming in here. So we'll see. Um, we're going to take a, just a quick break while we double check with the captains, make sure there's no swaps on either side, and then uh, we'll be right back. Baton, and it looks like Revenant will take Nepal. 2-0. And Revenant mighty impressive with the ult combinations and the ult usage and really securing picks with them and taking advantage of the number game. Yeah, I wonder... Mm, yeah, I, I don't really... It, it seemed a little bit like um, when the... Uh, like like a little bit of mismanagement of the, of the ult usage. I don't know. I didn't see the Death Blossom come out, but the Mercy wasn't caught in it. And that's kind of... The Mercy's got to be one of the big... Uh, you know, one of the primary targets when you're when you're popping that off. I I don't know what more they could do other than maybe being a little more aggressive coming onto this point. I don't know what your thoughts are, Matt. Um, I, I agree with you. You need to be more aggressive, and um, you know, we, we see it in every game. You gotta pick these supports. If that Death Blossom comes out and gets the mercy. Uh, Lucio does not get res. There's no speed advantage that Revenant had, and maybe Renegade, you know, wins that point and retakes control. When you let the supports, especially Mercy, Mercy's been nerfed to death, but that res is still a valuable asset and a fight turner. When she has the opportunity to, to get an uncontested res right there, get the second support back up. Lucio is a very strong support here with his speed ability, his ultimate, and his area healing. When you get that speed back up, that can swing a fight. It gets everyone grouped together, keeps your tanks moving faster. That was a big miss that they let that Mercy go. Changed the tide of the battle. Then Revenant came out with all the ults. Renegades need to just get those focused, focused targets down. If you see that Mercy flying in for a res, stand on the body. Or swing or you know to shoot at her try to throw damage in her face and knock her out get her off get her off balance prevent that res a lot of things can change here but now you know you're going on Eichenwald little uh, hybrid map action maybe that kind of sets resets them and allows them to go with a different kind of lineup and you know now it's all can you cap that point and how far can you escort that payload don't have to worry about battling necessarily on the point over and over again trying to uh, take control as you do on the call. Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's kind of the interesting thing on the uh, the assault maps, right? Eichenwald being a... And we're back. So we did make a couple of swaps, um, swapped out a few teams, and then made sure that we had the... Oh, I think they lost someone. Someone just, just dropped out? Yeah. Looks like we had a late drop. All right. All right, I'll take us back to the lobby. Who are we missing? I can't quite see. Mm -hmm. I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh, 
<laughs> All right. Uh, hold, please. We do have uh, we do have <laughs> one player did drop, so we're gonna pause just a second, see if we can't get him back. Uh, we'll be right back. When the uh, like like a little bit of mismanagement of the of the ult usage. I don't know. I didn't see the death blossom come out, but the mercy wasn't caught in it, and that's kind of the mercy's got to be one of the big, uh, you know, one of the primary targets when you're when you're popping that off. I I don't know what more they could do other than maybe being a little more aggressive coming onto this point. I don't know what your thoughts are, Matt. Um, I, I agree with you. You need to be more aggressive and. Um, you know, we, we see it in everything. You've got to pick these supports. If that Death Blossom comes out and gets the Mercy, uh, Lucio does not get res. There's no speed advantage that Revenant had. And maybe Renegade, you know, wins that point and retakes control. When you let the supports, especially Mercy, Mercy's been nerfed to death. All right, and we're back. We got, we got everybody back on this. Uh, everybody back in the lobby, so we are starting it up now. Oh yeah, back here on beautiful Eichenwald. Evan Luck back in after the late chop. And uh, <laughs> Eichenwald to me is one of the more aesthetically pleasing maps. Uh, this first point has a tendency to be a little annoying. Uh, you can, To me, I know how this map's going to go after the first or second push. Uh, especially when you're trying to cap that point to escort the payload. And looking to see if Renegade can rebound here. Revenant won two nothing on Nepal, so they are currently up one to nothing in this series. A uh, win on Eichenwald will give them the win, and at least two map wins, which ultimately at the end of the season could be a huge deal when it comes to tiebreakers. So Renegade in need of a victory here. Keep that morale high. Good way to rebound. <clears throat> Nothing better than winning a map after you lose. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. That's right. So it is interesting uh, to see. Subbed in. Yeah, I was about to say it is interesting to see them run the Reinhardt on defense after they ran the uh, the Arissa so effectively um, on the last map. Yeah, both teams going with Ryan, and it looks like Sleepy Panda is going to start out on Hanzo. Very interesting to see any time Hanzo gets pulled out into play. And Renegade will be on attack first. Let's see if they can get off to a hot start here. Fire Strike comes out. A little bit of a shield battle now. And June Moon gets a pick on the Lucio already. That's a big loss on the side of Renegade. You can see Amazing Emil just causing as well. a ton of trouble for their team in the back line here. Uh, the pharmacy did flank around the back side, so while um, while you were looking at the choke there, Matt, you could see the pharmacy just went all the way around the back side and just decided oh. to just put in work on this back side. Yeah, three big picks right there. Picks keep coming for Renegade. They have five <laughs> on the point. They should capture this with no issue at all. Good start for Renegade, exactly what they needed. They kept that in under a minute. Who needs an off tank? Am I right? right isn't that isn't that what uh, <laughs> what Hanzo's rework is gonna make him into? That's right. <laughs> now you're getting that Reinhardt vegan tracer right now. Having to deal with that pharmacy and coming as a guy that plays a lot of Reinhardt, Farah is a very annoying DPS. You think her range shouldn't bother you, but she can eat away your shield and just fly around you and hit, give you those shots from the back and out comes the Widowmaker ult getting that little uh, UV as going back to Call of Duty right there to uh, <laughs> UAV you know inbound your opponents are. Ooh, bits of big dragons <laughs> taking down the Reinhardt yeah 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 Sleepy Panda with the dragon taking away the shield Deadeye came out and I don't think got anything right there yeah, I don't think it did it may have been just like a bit of a panic ult you know just doing everything everything possible to try and try and stall this point out <clears throat> and renegade doing a very good job escorting this payload they are over halfway <clears throat> to the checkpoint yeah they I, keep getting picks they are not losing any fights a bit of a disconnected hold here you know you'd like to see revenant kind of just back up set up at the door and just uh let and fight this as a 6v6 but they just kept throwing bodies at the payload 
uh, stalling it out incrementally, and they're going to have to just go ahead and give this up. Uh, give that up, and they have not had an answer for the very. Oh, yet. man. Oh, nice. Wow, the barrage gets two. Four picks on the side of Renegade. Mm. Well, this is a completely different Renegade team that we've seen <laughs> that we're seeing now compared to Nepal. Very aggressive and coming back with a vengeance. Yeah, I mean, you, you see him. Moon, Moon finally gets the pick. I was about to say, amazing Emil is just going, going insane on that Farah. Um, and Dr. June Moon's doing, doing whatever possible to try and keep him contained, but with the rest of the team just going to town, uh, it's a little too little too late. That Shatter does come out, drops Evan Luck in the back, but just not enough follow up, and he's going to go down. And you're looking at Arch sitting here with Sound Barrier. Oh, and he goes down, Junior, with a nice pick. That's two down on the side of Renegade. They might have to back up and regroup here. Kind of give this to Revenant and reset. Evan Luck gets picked by Diva Horizon. Time to reset if you are Renegade. Yeah, you see a couple of swaps coming in for Renegade. Sleepy Panda does hop off the uh, the Hanzo. And Amazing Emil is going to swap off, swap off the Farah to Zarya. I think it's a smart pick. I mean, this... This last point can just be an absolute nightmare for Farah. There's not enough nooks and crannies to hide behind, hide behind, excuse me, not enough verticality to really take full advantage. Vegan Tracer going and deep. On that Zen. Wow, picks coming out hot and heavy yeah. for Revenant as they've won these last two fights. Still 350 in the time bank for Renegade. Time to reset and really group up and get it going here. They're very close to Earth Shatter, and now. They switched off the ferry, as you said, went Zarya. Sleepy Panda close to that rip tire. But Diva Horizon, Fur, and June Moon all have their ult on the side of Revenant. So they're winning the old economy currently. Yeah, and you see Big Daddy Snipe swaps off the fair excuse me, swaps off the widow to McCree. Let's we'll oh. see if this rip tire can get anything. Sleepy Panda grinding away. Wasting some of the time, only has one second. He gets Diva Horizon. That's interesting. And now picks coming out. It's a big. That's a big charge. Nice charge there. Nice earth shatter. Valkyrie does come out from Ermagerd and... Burr, but Ooh, he picked the mercy. yeah, there's nobody. He pops Valken. It turns out there's nobody left alive on point to try and heal with it. So he's got to go for that risky res. Visor from now Diva Horizon on top. Out this tack visor. Interesting. I don't. Horizon gets picked. Yeah, you know, he had he had Visor on the high ground. and Could not secure any picks, and Reinhardt Jock charges in. All right, action just going back and forth now. Oh, out comes Trent Snipes, gets a pick. And gets a pick. June Moon goes down. Python doing work on the run right now, just charges into his own death, though. And Evan Luck cannot risk try yep. attempting a res as he falls back. And they are three, they're very close to the finish line, 3.43 meters away, but with two minutes left, they probably have a couple fights left here. A good defense at a Revenant on this third point. Uh, looked like with five plus minutes in the time bank that Renegades was going to have a huge advantage here, but the defense has come alive. Nice shatter. And Emil goes down vegan trait. Oh, Ooh. wow. Four big picks right there. That's huge. Five now. Evan Luck left to die. And they stagger him out. That Earth Shatter can be very nice. deadly. And look, though. Rich Buffalo, Diva Horizon, they are keeping the holes in their favor. They're close to Sound Barrier as well. Revenant looking very well off coming in with... Not under 90 seconds left now. Oh, Shatter, Shatter does get the... Python goes down. Yep. He gets a four-man Shatter and two of his own teammates go down. Oh, Reptire comes out gets one. There's a res. Yeah. And Lucio with the pick on Diva Horizon. Numbers game. They're trading kills here, but with that short spawn, they need a, they need a decisive team wipe, a decisive victory, or it's not going to... It's not going to go what it needs to. That is unfortunate. Amazing Emil just can't oh, find the doorway to get inside. Oh, very unfortunate. They do have Grab and Deadeye. And I don't know if Sound, sound Barrier could come out. So you got to get that Lucio. 
in that grab. Yeah, they've got. Burp also has transcendence. They've got the grab, but Sleepy Panda swapping to Genji a little too late. They're not going to have Blade to combo with it. Um, and there is transcendence and sound barrier on the other side. So they need to be thinking in their mind that that uh, target priority number one has got to be that Zenyatta, right? That's That's got to be what oh, they're thinking in their that. mind. Oh, Vegan Tracer gets taken out by the Lucio. Renegade is going to make a final push here. Yep. Rich Buffalo is d -mech. They have ults. Might as well use them. It's contested. Oh, Junmu gets the pick on Burr before he could drop Sound Barrier. And out comes Transcendence. Yep. There's a nice charge. High Noon comes out as well. The pick's coming on the side of Revenant, and that should end the yep. round. So going into that last team Very fight, it... strong defensive hold. Yeah, Sleepy Panda went in on the Zenyatta, and that's exactly what you wanted, you wanted him to do. But he got booped away by the Lucio, and then it's almost like he kind of kind of just lost track of where Fatty Derp ended up on the Zen. And Fatty just kind of sat in this corner over here next to the payload, just raining down orbs of justice on anyone and everyone in front of him. And then when the time came, was able to pop Trance at his own, you know, at his leisure. So, um... The right start, uh, just you know, kind of little little miss the execution. Didn't stick the landing, as they say. That's right. Uh, Renegade did a great job rebounding. They were a lot more aggressive on that attack, a lot more organized on that attack. Now they just have to play defense. Uh, maybe if they can eat away at that time bank before Revenant caps that first point kind of chip away at that. They had five minutes to their advantage, and they were unable to bring it all the way home. But 64-plus meters on that last point, that could be a big difference maker. Uh, let's see if the defense of Renegade can hold up here. They're looking to keep the win alive for them. This is big right here. Revenant looking to seal the win if they could bring this uh, payload past 64 meters. I mean, that's a tall order, right? Like, we're, we're sitting here like, oh, they miss, they miss getting it all the way to the end. But that that last point can be a nightmare if you're not able to kind of chain your chain your ults together and get any sort of ult economy or ult synergy. So that's that's a doable hold, you know. Uh, streets phase in Eichenwald can be particularly painful, and this first point can be a nightmare if you don't come through here with the right, uh, kind of with authority. So we'll see. They're going to come out with triple tank, and they're going to come triple tank with Azaria and Reinhardt. So... You usually like to see that with a Winston. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude gets picked right away. And then Vegan the Tracer with the reckless charge. Throw that in there. <laughs> All right, good start defensively for Renegade here. Building those ult charges. Now Revenant slowly grouping together, grouping up here. They'll play the choke game. Sleepy Panda had someone in his trap. No pick comes from it. They'll back up a little bit. That was a nice fire strike. That got a couple people right there. And now relocating to the point, and here comes the attack on both sides. And both teams even right now. Burr goes down on that, running that Moira. Python goes down. So without the tank, Rich Buffalo comes back in and responds. Picks going back and forth. Vegan Tracer with the pick. Oh, here it comes. Revenant with multiple picks right there. Nice dash double kill for June Moon on the Genji. And it looks like they should cap. Yeah, they're not going to press that two yeah. right now. Over two ticks. Concede that and regroup. And Rich Buffalo close to yeah. that grab already. And Burr has coalescence. So you see Jun Moon go down there. That's not too big a deal. He's trying to press the attack, keep the defense from setting up fully. He's gonna get, he's gonna get short spawn. He's gonna come back. Uh, the tire does come out from Sleepy Panda, trying to get a little cheeky, go up and around the building over here. Oh, did not get enough. He almost got yeah. Reinhardt. Did not get close enough. There's the hook. We can trace her. There's the grab and the blade. A charge, but the whole hog keeps the ride away. <clears throat> Sniper gets two, but Diva Bomb and Coalescence coming out large. And now Revenant walking that payload up. And Vegan Tracer getting a little aggressive. 
Yeah, he I wonder. To fall back though, but he's very close. I wonder if that wasn't a bit of an overcommitment from Revenant. You know, I mean, they used literally <laughs> everything but Shatter there. Every old. Uh, well, they didn't use they didn't use Sound Barrier either. But I mean, you saw Blade. You saw <laughs> as soon as the grab went out, they popped Blade. They popped Coalescence. They threw the Diva Bomb. They wanted to make sure they got that next 15 feet <laughs> unopposed. So uh, we'll see if it comes back comes back to burn them as they Ooh. move into this last uh, this doorway choke and that oh nice shatter coming out getting two right there he gets the bubble as well all oh, the boop you know, of oh, justice on that reinhardt oh my god the charge comes in handy and renegade right here responds with picks of their own and now some of this time will tick away exactly what renegade needed June Moon getting a little poke damage in. That's a big hook. Going to stagger Diva Horizon, keep him away. The res does come out. Never. Ooh, so and the res comes out. That could be huge if they come into this next fight without the res. It's going to be on cooldown for the next 30 seconds. So. Well, Riptire gets nothing. <laughs> big Daddy Snipes getting a little help from Phonic Python with the Fire Strike. Taking down June Moon. So this is going to be a 5v6 onto the payload. You see Diva Horizon trying to get a little cheeky, push this thing forward. Amazing Emil is going to try and stall Ooh. it out. Out comes Sound Barrier. <laughs> the longest Sound and Barrier known to man. Was... Oh yeah, that took forever to cast. And... Oh, nice dead eye getting two. Whole Hawk gets one. But Diva Horizon still put nice Hawk. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Get that pesky tracer out of the way with the hook. Amazing Emil. What's <laughs> right in her face? Oh, amazing Emil almost missed the jump there and fell to his death, but uh, was able to wall ride his way back up. So they're going to come back in here. The, uh, the attack's going to come back with blade. They do have grav again and pulse grenades. They've got two really synergistic combos here. Pulse grenade comes out, does drop the Lucio. Ooh. Rich Buffalo goes down. That's a fat shatter. Nice. Look yeah. at all the picks on the side of Renegade. That's how you follow up a shatter. So they did. They did right, get so the diva, left. not the diva bomb. Goodness, the the pulse grenade. The pulse grenade does come out from Diva Horizon on that fight, but they do still have grab and blade. So uh, look, be on the lookout for that combo on this next push. Oh yeah, time running out. One thirty-five left. Nice hook again. Diva Horizon goes down. Arch Force. Arch Force is... Oh, Sleepy Panda gets two with the Riptire <laughs> both supports. Yep, and that's just going to force Revenant to just fully disengage. He is the hook on on the Reinhardt. Vegan Tracen just caught completely out of position and does go down. That was big. He turned He turned just to run away. This fight right here. Looks like Revenant a little out of position, not staying that grouped up. Renegade doing a great job defensively, just forcing Revenant to kind of scatter around here. Now under a minute, it's been a very strong hold from Renegade, who need this win. Big Daddy Snipes just raining in on the high ground as that McGree. <laughs> yeah, he's Pop putting in absolute work. Eye. Grab comes out. Oh, here comes the There's grab. the blade. No, he, no, they do not invest the blade. It's late. Wow. June Moon gets shut down by that flashbang. Whole hog comes out as well. A res comes out, brings a meal back. Both supports now still still back up on so, the side of Renegade. Yeah, what you saw there, we were spectating. I was about to say we were spectating Big Daddy Snipes on the high ground, and as the Genji came in, he got two quick hits on Doctor June Moon, forced June Moon to back off right as the grab came out. So he was not in position to follow up on that with his blade. And by the time he popped it, the whole team was prepared for it. Oh, Vegan Tracer hooked off the point. They need to get a Dude. body on the payload. They Arched fours. Like, okay, they have Rich <laughs> Buffalo. Force, force Lands the right hook there. on the Lucio. <laughs> oh, nice fat shatter. Bird gets taken out. Trying to keep that contested, though. June Moon and Bird go down. If they can get this Tracer, it might be over. Nice fat shatter coming out. Stuck with the Pulse Bomb. Diva Horizon with oh, a right there on forces. But that does it. The Fire Strike 
and the rest of the team rally and Renegades ties this up at one apiece. We will go to watch Point Gibraltar with the win on the line. Yeah, that was a, that was an interesting uh, point right there. Well, I was gonna say it was really it was really impressive. Like they, uh, excuse me, Revenant when they were coming back onto the point, they didn't have a Diva or Winston. Nobody could really get up on top and contest. Um, Big Daddy Snipes on the high ground with that McCree. He pretty much got to sit there for free and just rain down damage from above. So um, that may have been, that may have been a comp swap. Uh, Doctor June Moon was doing everything possible on that Genji to get up there and prevent that from happening, but. Um, the 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 Roadhog was just landing those hooks, <laughs> 900 IQ hooks. So there's not a whole lot you can do in that in that space. Yeah, that was some uh, very impressive hooks uh, out on the side of uh, Arched Force right there. Um, that's why I don't play Roadhog. I can't land the hook. <laughs> Great work out of him. Now we're going to Gibraltar. Win on the line. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get the next map set up, see if there's any, uh, any swaps from either side, and we will be right back. Looks hey. like Revenant a little out of position, not staying that grouped up. Renegade doing a great job defensively, just forcing Revenant to kind of scatter around here. Now under a minute, it's been a very strong hold from Renegade who need this win. Big Daddy Snug just raining in on the high ground as that <laughs> great. Yeah, he's putting in absolute work. Eye. Grab comes out. Oh, here comes the There's grab. the blade. No, he, no, they do not invest the blade. It's late. Wow. June Moon gets shut down by that flashbang. Bullhog comes out as well. A res comes out. Brings a meal back. Both supports now. Still, still back up. On so, the side of Renegade. Yeah, what you saw there, we were spectating. I was about to say, we were spectating Big Daddy Snipes on the high ground, and as the Genji came in, he got two quick hits on Dr. June Moon, forced June Moon to back off right as the grab came out. So he was not in position to follow up on that with his blade. And by the time he popped it, the whole wow. team was prepared for it. Well, Vegan Tracer hooked off the point. They need to get a Dude. body on the payload. Arched fours. <laughs> Lands the hook on the Lucio. <laughs> oh, nice fat shatter. Bird gets taken out. Trying to keep that contested, though. June Moon and Bird go down. If they can get this tracer, it might be over. Nice fat shatter coming out. Stuck with the pulse bomb. Diva Horizon with oh, man. right there on forces. But that does it. The fire strike. And the rest of the team rally and Renegades ties this up at one apiece. We will go to watch Point Gibraltar with the win on the line. Yeah, that was a, that was a interesting uh, point right there. Well, I was gonna say it was really it was really impressive. Like they, uh, excuse me, Revenant when they were coming back onto the point, they didn't have a Diva or Winston. Nobody could really get up on top and contest. Um, Big Daddy Snipes on the high ground with that McCree. He pretty much got to sit there for free and just rain down damage from above. So um, that may have been, that may have been a comp swap. Uh, Doctor June Moon was doing everything possible on that Genji to get up there and prevent that from happening. But uh, the 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 Roadhog was just landing those hooks, <laughs> 900 IQ hooks. So there's not a whole lot you can do in that in that space. Yeah, that was some uh, very impressive hooks uh, out on the side of uh, Arch Force right there. Um, that's why I don't play Roadhog. I can't land the hook. <laughs> Great work out of him. Now we're going to Gibraltar, win on the line. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get the next map set up, see if there's any, uh, any swaps from either side, and we will be right back. Looks like Revenant a little out of position, not staying that grouped up. Renegade doing a great job defensively, just forcing Revenant to kind of scatter around here. Now under a minute, it's been a very strong hold from Renegade who need this win. Big Daddy Snipes just raining in on the high ground as that great. <laughs> yeah, he's Pop putting in absolute work. 
Grav comes out. Oh, here comes the There's grab. the blade. No, we, no, they do not invest the blade. It's late. Wow. June Moon gets shut down by that flashbang. Bullhog comes out as well. A res comes out. Brings a meal back. First supports now. Still, still back up. On so, the side of Renegade. Yeah, what you saw there, we were spectating. I was about to say, we were spectating Big Daddy Snipes on the high ground, and as the Genji came in, he got two quick hits on Dr. June Moon, forced June Moon to back off right as the grab came out. So he was not in position to follow up on that with his blade. And by the time he popped it, the whole team was prepared for it. Well, Vegan Tracer hooked off the point. They need to get a Dude. body on the payload. Arched fours. <laughs> Lands the hook on the Lucio. Oh, nice fat shatter. Burn gets taken out. Trying to keep that contested though. June Moon and Burr go down. They can get this tracer. It might be over. Nice fat shatter coming out. Stuck with the pulse bomb. Diva Horizon with the oh, man. right there on forces. But that does it. The fire strike. And the rest of the team rally and Renegades ties this up. Up at one apiece. We will go to watch Point Gibraltar with the win on the line. Yeah, that was a, that was a interesting uh, point right there. Well, I was gonna say it was really it was really impressive. Like they, uh, excuse me, Revenant when they were coming back onto the point, they didn't have a Diva or Winston. Nobody could really get up on top and contest um, Big Daddy Snipes on the high ground with that McCree. He pretty much got to sit there for free and just rain down damage from above. So. Um, that may, have been, that may have been a comp swap. Uh, Dr. June Moon was doing everything possible on that Genji to get up there and prevent that from happening. But uh, the, the, the Roadhog was just landing those hooks. <laughs> 900 IQ hooks. So there's not a whole lot you can do in that, in that space. Yeah, that was some uh, very impressive hooks uh, out on the side of uh, Arch Force right there. Um, that's why I don't play Roadhog. I can't land the hook. Great work out of him. Now we're going to Gibraltar, win on the line. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get the next map set up, see if there's any, uh, any swaps from either side, and we will be right back. Looks Wait. like Revenant a little out of position, not staying that group up. Well, Renegade did a great wasn't. job defensively, just forcing Revenant to kind of scatter around here. Now under a and we're back. Watch point Gibraltar as the third match. So this will be the tiebreaker for both teams. So we're dropping right, right in, in here. here. Yeah, and you, you saw Renegade come back completely overmatched on the control point on the ball. Responded greatly on Ike Vault. Now it's just a straight escort. So, in this map in particular, you can see some Widow, you can see some McCree, you can see some Fair in the beginning. You can see almost any hero played on this particular map. And it looks like we're going to see some Winston action. And Reinhardt on the side of uh, Renegade right here. Yeah, yeah I mean, interesting choices. You know, you know, it, it worked, worked well, well for him. Uh, uh, we, we saw um, Phonic Python, Python played uh, the Brian Hart Great Effect last match, match and Arch Force was just absolutely dominant, dominant with those hooks. hooks. You're, You're going to see a couple swaps here for Revenant, so they are, are going to run the, uh, the Winston and, and Diva, so maybe, maybe recognizing that Big Daddy, Daddy Snipes was just abusing the high ground on them, so they swapped up their tank comp to account for it. So we'll see how this swaps up. It should be should be a good swap. I think it's the right pick. The, uh, the orb from Zinyana should be able to follow him up through there. Dr. Junoon can play the McCree on the attack as well. So you can look out for those dead eyes. And then Artemis on the Tracer once again. Sleepy Pan is going to start out this time on Junkrat. I think he swapped partway through last map from Hanzo, I believe. Memory serves. Yes. Arch Force trying to get a cheeky, uh, cheeky hook as Revenant just goes straight onto the high ground to force everybody off. Yeah, yeah they, they, went, they didn't waste, waste any time that game to fly all over the place. Now they're on the point, they'll escort that, they're going right into the tunnel here. 
Hey, Renegades going to have to fall down, but they're down two already. Two big picks, and out comes Adam Luck with the res on the sleep pan to get that jump right up, all that damage into that bubble, and then into this narrow straightaway right before the choke. Yeah, it... Well, Derp getting heavy pressure, and then he goes down. Wow, large force. Oh, he switched off the Roadhog onto the Zarya now. And these teams are just going back and forth mm -hmm. with the picks. But that's three down on the side of Renegade. They will secede that point. And a quick first cap of the checkpoint as Arch Force, is, as Arch Force goes down. Excuse me, Rich Buffalo doing a great job with that Winston. But Sleepy Panda takes in now. Yeah, Phonic Python living on no health favorite. right now. Just trying to keep that shield up. <laughs> wow. Artemis doing a good job there. And June Moon takes out the Rip Tire. It's a wasted ult right there. Anytime that Rip Tire goes down. And Evan Luck brings up Big Daddy Snipes with the, with the res. Yeah, you see Void Gamer trying to get in position for this bomb. And he did get the pick on Evan Luck. No mercy on the side of Renegade and Buff Buffalo and Junior with some picks right there. Emil trying his hardest. Gets Batty there. But Sleepy Panda again with another pick. Back and forth. Another res comes up getting dirt back up. But Sleepy Panda goes down. And another quick cap. They have 550 in the time bank right now. Going into that final push. Yeah, so I mean, this is just another example of mobility being king. You know, we see uh, we see Renegades setting up with the a, a pretty stagnant comp with the uh, Reinhardt and the uh, the Zarya. So Revenant came out rightfully so with a com with a highly mobile team comp. They really only have to worry about the uh, you know the Zen and the uh, McCree, but <laughs> with with Diva Winston being just so dominant, they're just bullying the team around. Really not letting they him get really set up anywhere. Rich Buffalo. Rich Buffalo's flying all over the place as Winston right now. Snipes does get one with the dead eye. And oh, Burr was unable to get that res up and he won't be able to as he gets taken out. So maybe now force it. There you go. Renegade reset and winning that team fight. They're winning these fights, but there's nobody on the payload. It's actually moving backwards right now. Oh, and Artemis jumps off the map, trying to reset and not get too staggered. 440, they, they've they eaten a minute off. Renegade doing a good job now, setting up their defense. But you're right, the mobility <laughs> and aggression from Revenant has been a huge difference maker so far on this attack. Yeah, I mean, right there, you saw, you saw Void and you saw Rich Buffalo just completely collapse on Sleepy Panda up here on this high ground. He was in position... Um, they, they may have assumed he had Visor, it's hard to say, but they saw him up there and just collapsed on him. Forces and Evan Luck go down, Snipes goes down as well. It's, it's just a swarming offensive attack right now. And they are really pushing that payload up. Python goes down as well. And that might do it. They get a body on there with the bubble. Out comes the grab, and I comes out and gets two. There's no follow-up to the grab. That's just a stall technique. Yep. And, wow, they capped the point. Drew bodies off the point there. There was two going after Dr. June Moon. And with plenty of time in the time bank, Revenant comes out aggressive, fast, and angry. And they have 347 remaining. <laughs> and now, if you're a Renegade, you got to find a way here. you got to switch up your comp. And you got to bring that aggression and that mobility right back at them. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what they uh, if they if they come out with a similar comp to what they played so effectively on the attack for uh, Eichenwald. They they did play the trip tank and they just rolled right onto point with authority and just brawled it out. That was their whole plan. So we'll see if they do that again. They did run Am amazing Emil on the Pharah. For that map, this first point for I can, or excuse me, for Watchpoint Gibraltar can be super effective for a Farah. Um, see if these comps that they've currently got lined up stay the same. Uh, they definitely could. Big Daddy mm -hmm. Snipes played the Widow pretty effectively. 
earlier in this series, and the long sight lines on these first two points could definitely make Widow effective. Um, Revenant, though, not changing a thing, right man. <laughs> Revenant, no. if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? They're gonna, they're gonna stick yeah, exactly. with their they're stick to their guns here. <laughs> Burr's done a very good job on the Mercy, and I've been impressed with Fatty Derp Zenyatta. But uh, Rich Buffalo, if he has a round like he did on attack on that Winston, uh, yeah. Renegade is in a world of trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I like Sleepy Panda running the Sombra. Uh, we haven't seen Sombra yet in this series at all, so if those EMPs can come out and those hacks come out, that could be a huge turning point uh, for Renegade here as they need to cap it. 347 in the time bank left for Revenant, and they're bringing the attack right to them. Mm -hmm. You see, once again, both oh, nice. teams kind of fighting around this high ground here, just trying to get positional advantage. Fatty Derp does go down. Oh, Team nice. kind of hangs it's him out to dry. <laughs> Arched Force drops to the McCree. Kills coming out for both sides. They are going to get Dirt back up, though. And Sombra coming out, hacking the D.Va. Sleepy Panda is doing a decent job on that Sombra so far. Oh, but he's disported. He gets the D.Va out of mech. Translocates and stays up. And Revenant right now going after that D.Va. Very low on health. They'll fall back. No one on the payload. There's not much movement so far. Just... A little staggeredness on both sides right now, fighting all over the place. And that payload now, being left alone, they could get a body on there and get some movement on it. And no picks on either side so far, just doing some damage up. Python goes down and now they are without their main tank. As Evan Luck goes, flies over in the harm's way a little bit. And he will down toward Gamer with a nice pick. Yeah, that's just understanding, you know, which which teammate it is with the low health. Sometimes when you're playing Mercy, you're playing some of these supports, it's all too easy to see that low health and try and dive on them, save them. Uh, Sleepy Panda on the on the uh, Sombra is especially slippery. They can she can get out of just about any position. So you you don't necessarily have to go in deep on that to, to save that life. You can let that ride. No. Ooh. Got double teamed with the Diva and McCree right there, and Sleepy Panda finally goes down two percent away from EMP though, so EMP will be up next fight and they might need to bust that out and take advantage of it. Yeah, it's almost like there's not a there's not a whole lot of clear communication coming out here from Renegades. You see the Diva and Winston are diving together. They're picking a target, they're moving in, but their damage follow-up's not necessarily uh, not necessarily right behind them. And the targets they're diving on aren't the squishies. You know, we're going in on the Winston, we're going in mm -hmm. on the Diva. So there's not a whole lot of value there. You see Fatty Derps just kind of set up set up a house up here on this high ground. So it's maybe a matter of just kind of understanding your target priority. Five volts up on both sides. Out comes the EMP. And out comes the Demon Bomb as well. One, but the Dragon Fleet comes out and gets one as well. Picks are even and out comes the Primal Rage from Python. But he's getting melted right now, already down to 400 health. As Buffalo takes out Evan Luck, and Python really left alone here, he will fall back with 40 health left. And you're you're right, there just seems to be a little miscommunication. Uh, right now you have uh, Wood Gamer getting back in the mech, and they're really contesting that point. Emil a little bit alone here with Sleepy yeah. Panda. Sleepy Panda goes down. And, and Python goes down as well. They're not getting any picks right now. There's yeah. no follow-up. 30 seconds here. They need That's big. to get organized and make a push. Oh, they're going to... Yeah, and they're going to let that res get off. I was about to say, that was a big pick. They do drop Dr. G and Moon, so DPS is going to be missing, but they're not able to uh, to prevent the res. And then Arch Force gets caught out of position and just drops. So they're going to have to engage on this uh, 4v5. And on the defense, you yeah, see Fatty's got Trance, you see the Blade, yeah, Primal Rage, and really, the attack's got Falcon, uh, Sound Barrier. Revenant kind of regrouping right here, now they're just going full-blown in on the dive. 
there's Transcendence comes out. Why not use the ults? This could be the end of it. Yeah. High Noon comes out. He gets a big on Sleepy Panda. Well done. Out comes the Diva Bomb. Oh, Burr goes down. But no follow up. They're trying yeah. to keep bodies on the pavement. May just be a little too little out. too late, my friend. You're right about that, and Revenant gets the victory in dominating fashion on Watchpoint Gibraltar, and they win the series 2-1. to one. And June Moon right here with the play of the game. Very impressive, aggressive attack and aggressive defense. And a little lack of communication coming out on the side of Renegade. They did put up a good fight, but could not hold it together on Gibraltar. And Revenant will move to one and one on the season and get two map points. And Renegades falls to 0 and 2. But they did get the victory. They will get one map point. We saw a very competitive game. Uh, Revenant coming in at the end, getting dominating on Gibraltar and getting the victory. And you know what? If if I had to choose, you know, we'll, we'll present this to you right now. Swift and I are going to give you our player of the match our MVP of the match and uh, I might be a little biased being a tank main here but to me side of Revenant Rich Buffalo uh, especially he was very good on Nepal he pulled out that Arissa had some huge plays there and on Gibraltar his Winston play was dominant and very aggressive I haven't seen you know an Xbox Winston play like that in a very long time, so it was very impressive to see that. And I thought he played a big role on Gibraltar in getting Renegades highly confused and a little disoriented. So I'm going to have to give my player of the match to Rich Buffalo. It's a, it's a solid solid pick. I think I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go with one of the DPSs um, again with uh, with Big Daddy Snipes playing the McCree. Uh, and really taking full advantage of the high ground. Um, not only that, but understanding what his target priorities were, where the win condition lay, and uh, specifically again on um, on Eichenwald, understanding that, w <laughs> knowing that the grab is probably coming, the blade is going to be somewhere around, and even when the grab came out, his focus was figuring out where that Genji was, so that as soon as the blade came out, uh, it was flashbang and lights out. So. Um, Big shout out to Big Daddy Snipes for keeping his head in the game uh, all throughout Eichenwald. I like I like Snipes' uh, Widowmaker action too. Uh, it's nice to see Widowmaker get used. If you watch uh, if you watch OWL, you see Widowmaker a lot. You don't see it a lot on console, especially you know around these SR levels. So it's great to see that highly effective. And I I can't argue with you the McCree play that. He showed, especially on Eichenwald, on that high ground. Uh, played a big part in Renegades getting that win. Yeah. So, um, big match tonight. I think we have a couple more games this evening uh, over on the uh, Overwatch Xbox community main channel for Twitch. Uh, and then I know we have uh, three, four games on Saturday and Sunday of this week. So.